Hey guys, Rob here with 3D Printscape. So I've been asking a lot of questions since I made the video on the glass bed upgrade on whether or not the thickness of the glass makes a difference when it comes to time to heat up and whether or not you can just put the glass over the magnetic build plate if you want to go back and forth between the two. So I'm going to answer those questions today. I'm going to run through and actually perform a couple tests to get temperatures between the different thicknesses of glass and show you what the results actually are. And then we'll go over everything at the end, kind of making a recommendation and go from there. Um, one thing I did want to point out, I've made this note before, um, but if you are looking to swap out the magnetic build plate for glass, uh, I would either probably just add the glass to it, which we'll talk about at the end, or uh, remove the magnetic pad entirely. There has been issues with the magnetic pad actually fusing to the glass if the temperature gets too high. I haven't had it happen to me personally, but I know a lot of people that have had it, and then I've had reports in YouTube comments and on Discord saying that they've had something similar happen. So I would recommend just not going that way just to be safe. All right, so before we get started, if you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks. All right, guys, the printer's up to temperature, and as we talked about, um, I'm gonna get a measurement of the base aluminum build plate here. Um, it should be around 60, I'm guessing, because that's what it's set to. We'll go ahead and measure it with three different build plates, one of them just shy of three millimeters, uh, just plain glass. The other one's Creality glass, it's about 3.5 millimeters, and then I'll use my Gorilla glass one, and it's about uh, a little over five millimeters thick. I want it to let them warm up for about three minutes because I expect that that's about what most people do uh, when the bed's warming up when they're starting out of print is um, they'll go ahead and heat the bed which take two to three minutes and then go ahead and kick off the print from there. Uh, so that's what we'll base the temperature off of. Uh, I would expect that over time, over like, I don't know, a half hour or so, the temperatures would end up balancing out, but it's really going to be that first couple layers that's going to make the difference. Uh, so that's why I was going to do it about every three minutes. So let's go ahead and get our first reading. All right, so the our first reading here in the middle of the bed was right around 55, 56 degrees Celsius, even though it's set to 60. I expected there to be uh, some difference uh, just because of A, this might not be the most accurate, and B, uh, the thermistor on the printer might not be the most accurate. So just because you set it to 60 doesn't mean it will stay 60, um, but that should be the baseline going forward. All right, so let's go ahead and put the smaller glass on. This is three mil. And then we'll let it warm up for about three minutes. I'll go ahead and set my alarm and then we'll get a reading from there. All right, so it's been three minutes. Let's go ahead and get our reading. I get right here in the middle. And we're at 57.1. Uh, so the thinner glass doesn't have any issues getting up to temperature in that time frame. And I want to do one more test really quick. I'm going to take this glass off and see what the actual bed is at this point. And the bed's still coming in about 55, 56. Uh, so it looks like the glass is a good conductor of heat and it's actually helping in that scenario. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the Creality glass on, give it three minutes and see what it does. All right, so it's been three minutes. We've got the four millimeter uh, Creality glass, which really measures about 3.5, but let's go and see our reading. right about 56.9 so we're a tad bit lower at the three minute mark with the creality glass which is a bit thicker than the thin just sheet of glass which is kind of what i expected i'm not sure how the gorilla glass is going to end up working out um, but we'll go ahead and run that test too so i'm going to swap out the plates and give it three more minutes all right and we just hit the three minute mark so i'll get another reading here and we are at 54 which is kind of what I expected. So the thicker the glass, the longer it's going to take for it to heat up to the max temperature, uh, which was about 56 when set to 60 with this printer. That result might vary. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave this going for like 10 minutes. Uh, I expect that uh, it will get up to about the 56 degree, maybe a little bit hotter, and then stay there. Uh, but I just want to verify that. All right, so I waited seven more minutes to get to the 10 minute mark total. And let's go ahead and run another test here. And we are at 57. Uh, so yeah, basically after about 10 minutes, you're gonna be up to temperature regardless of the thickness of your build plate. Now I wanna do one more test, which I talked about at the beginning, which is with the magnetic build plate. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that up really quick and then we'll get started. All right guys, so I have the stock magnetic build plate here, temperature set to 60. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a good reading.
And actually, with this printer, it's at 61 with this plate. So I'm going to go ahead and put on the thin glass. I expect it to be a little bit lower after three minutes or right around the same. Uh, basically like what we saw with the other printer. That said, I think the actual magnet on this actually helps insulate and keeps the build plate warmer, which is why I was able to get hotter. Either that or um, the thermistor on one of the printers isn't as accurate, which is also possible. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put the glass on and set the timer. All right, the three minutes is up. Let's go ahead and get our reading. Uh, so we're at 53.8, so it hasn't been enough time to actually heat up both the um, magnetic build plate and the glass yet. I'll give it another 5 minutes or 7 minutes to see if it gets there by the 10 minute mark. Alright guys, so I gave it 15 minutes to see what happens and... We are only at 54 degrees. So what that's telling us is the magnetic build plate isn't allowing enough heat to go into the actual glass build plate. So if you wanted to get this up to 60, uh, then you're gonna have to go six or seven degrees higher uh, on the actual, uh, at least the first layer of the build, and then at 54 or 55 should be fine after the first couple layers. All right guys, now that we have our data, let's go over what that actually means. Uh, first off, I wanted to point out that the thermistors on the printer are not exactly the most accurate and they vary between printers. Uh, so that's why I was trying to keep it consistent with the print I was using for the test, uh, just so that that way we have good data. Um, I think the other printer was low by about three or four degrees. Um, this printer was a little bit high. I think it was one degrees higher. Um, but that also could have been because of the magnetic pad on here, kind of insulating the temperature, therefore raising it a little bit. The next point is that while it might take a little bit longer for the thicker glass to heat up, um, it will eventually get to temperature. So what that means is you'll have to either uh, preheat the bed ahead of time to let it get up to temperature or set your first layer temperature to be uh, like four or five degrees higher in your slicer. Um, that will allow it to get up to temperature quicker and then drop it back down to where you want once you get beyond the first layer. Um, the first layer is where it's going to make the biggest difference. So you want to have that temperature pretty accurate. And that really only comes into play if you're using like four millimeter or thicker glass. The Creality glass was only off by a little, like one degree. Uh, so if you're just using Creality glass or one of the cheaper ones, you're probably fine just keeping it at 60 and letting it be that. But it, like with my Gorilla glass, it was about five millimeters thick and it did take a little bit longer to heat up. And then lastly here, if you're trying to use the magnetic build plate and the glass to go back and forth between the two, if you're using the glass, you're gonna to wanna to set it to about five degrees higher in Cura. Um, th with the test, uh, the glass was not able to get up to the temperature that the actual magnetic build plate was. Uh, I'm assuming due to the properties of the magnetic surface, it just wasn't able to pull enough heat through it. Um, I did give it 15 minutes and it was still about seven degrees lower. But if you just bump the temperature by about five degrees in Cura, you should be fine and not have any issues. And I would recommend doing that versus uh, setting it on the actual magnetic pad because there has been issues where uh, people have had the glass fused to the pad and uh, while it is possible to get it off, it is very difficult without damaging one of the actual surfaces. But if you have any questions about what we covered or would like to see any other videos, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. Thanks.